Good morning. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> we, we were do. just telling me about all these skis. <laughs> but let's talk about the shop first. For folks who haven't had the pleasure of being in the shop up in Jackson, tell me right. where you're located and what they can see when they walk in the door. Well, we're, we share the uh, base lodge with, with the Jackson Ski Touring Foundation, so it's really convenient. We Beautiful have access lodge. to the trails. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Wonderful. It's, it's fun being there. Uh, you're surrounded by people that really, they're on vacation. They're having fun. Uh, uh, the trails there are wonderful. Yeah. Grooming has been great. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. So and even when they're on vacation, a lot of them still live here because kind of that's why we live here. <laughs> and Jackson is just a gorgeous town. It really and is. then their trails, they're really world class cross country trails. They absolutely are. And uh, you guys are a great addition now to their services. You've been there four or five years or so. Right. What does Gorham Bike and Ski bring to Jackson? Well, I think it's really our expertise on the skiing technical end of things, some mm -hmm. of the equipment. Okay. Um, we're in, uh, we have an association with Swix and right. with Fisher, and um, they support us extremely well. I think one of the real advantages to our store is the fact that uh, we have a full line of the Fisher equipment. So we're able to uh, have people come in, feel and touch the top end skis mm. that you may not see in some of the other ski shops around. And we're talking like Olympic quality ski skis. Absolutely. Last year uh, a lot of the uh, world class athletes were skiing on the speed max without wanna, knowing about it. Want to grab that one? We'll sure. do a little um, Vanna on it. <laughs> the speed max is a really interesting um, take on the ski. Mm. Normally what they've done in the past is they've assembled the ski, put it in an oven, baked it, under pressure, and uh, that really did affect the base okay. uh, because this base is almost like a sponge. Ah. They've got a lot of wax pockets in okay. there. Um, so it, it did collapse the pockets very slightly. Ah. What they've done with the speed max is they've had the assembly of the ski followed by putting this on after the fact. Oh. So this is all virgin material. Wax pockets are bigger. More wax into the ski means a faster ski. Wonderful. Now, these are all classic style skis? Nope. I brought this a couple of examples in. This happens to be a skate ski. Oh, okay. And skate ski is usually defined by a tip that has less up sweep. I was going to say, I because I I've never skate skied mm -hmm. and I would dig on that. <laughs> but they cut sense. they've cut this hole in there simply to reduce weight. Okay. In this particular ski, there is a carbon tip and tail, mm -hmm. and then to even further reduce the weight, they've put that hole in. And I always refer to holding out a, a jug, a gallon of milk. Eventually, that's going to get pretty heavy <laughs> versus in here yeah. where it's, you, you can hold it core, for a lot yeah. longer. Uh, well, this is located a great distance from your tibia. So that little bit on the World Cup makes a difference. Amazing, amazing. Now, let's talk about this binding because this looks pretty amazing. It's very tiny here, though. Right, and I think uh, one of the strengths of it is the fact that uh, it, there's a lot of metal to it, uh, not as much plastic. Okay. Um, and, and that's what you'll see. It's a little more durable? See. Exactly. Um, so you just put the bail of your boot in there, snap it down, you're good to go. Now, it's do a lot simple. of people pop out of skate skis? Or is that? No, no. Okay, good. So this is nice and secure. You can get going. Because <laughs> skate ski, it seems to have really blown up over the last, uh, what, decade or so when it came on the scene. How long has it yeah, been little, in the Olympics? Do you know? Uh, I, I think it goes quite a ways back, a ways to, back yeah. to Bill Cook. And uh, uh, yeah, I think that goes back into probably I the they weren't allowed to do or it's like when they're doing classic they're not allowed to do a certain skate motion for a certain right distance. they are there are a number of classic mm -hmm. specific races mm -hmm. uh, skate specific yeah. pursuit which combines the two of them really so, yeah that's that sounds like a lot of fun now do you also sell and rent these or how does that work well Jackson ski touring foundation rents the skis. Okay. We just sell them. Perfect. Uh, so if they love them, they come to you guys. Exactly. And you go. Exactly. And uh, we've got a number of demos up there. Good. In fact, today we have a demo day, 10 to 2. 
I invite everybody up there to visit us and try out some skis. That sounds like a lot of fun. It looks like a nice day, especially in the morning hours, to get out there 10 to 2. 10 to and 2. what do they need to actually take out one of these? Well, they have to have a trail pass. Okay. And uh, a driver's license, yeah, something that we, Yeah. <laughs> There's no charge. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And you've combined that. Uh, Swix and tubs are also on hand. Are you doing that today? Um, we do have some tubs. Okay. If you'd like to try out those snowshoes, absolutely. Okay, great. Now, Let's move to the next model. Um, so this is skate ski, uh, skate high ski. end, less weight. Exactly. Uh, the camber is a little stiffer uh, for. Uh, and the camber meaning the arc of the ski. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so this is a classic ski. You can see the up sweep yep. of the tip is no. a little bit more no. consideration. Is a little more pronounced. Yep. Um, you don't want to get caught up in the snow. <laughs> yeah. And um, the bindings, really not too much difference. Uh, there's a l this is a little softer flexing okay. bumper. For when your yep. toe's flexing on it? Yep, exactly. Uh, with this ski, you always want to be able to c totally collapse the ski so the kick zone, uh. which is right pretty much underfoot, from about here to here. Right, you can kind of, I don't know if the TV viewers can see, but the wax is different right in the kick zone. Yep. Um, that's where you have to collapse. It has to have contact mm -hmm. with the snow, and that's where you get your propulsion. Uh, the tip and tail, those are glide areas. Okay. So if you have your weight evenly distributed, this should be raised off the ground. You get a good glide. Okay. Now, what would be the difference, because I know a lot of people have been switching to the waxless uh, why would they stay with a wax ski? Well, a wax ski performs just a little bit better. Uh, the difficult thing with a waxable ski is getting that wax just right. <laughs> right. It takes some well, experience. Well, Jackson's good at that, though, too, because they will teach people on, about how to do that. So every Friday, advantage. yeah, every Friday at 3:30, we have a waxing uh, demonstration uh, for free. Okay. Uh, we invite people to come up and visit us. And, good. And uh, we usually have a pretty good time with that. Um, but as far as um, uh, wax, uh, the waxable versus waxless, and, and let me point out that even a waxless ski just refers to the fact that you don't have to put the kick wax in the kick zone. They still have the glide zones that need to be waxed. Makes an amazing difference when you actually put a glide on there. It makes it to be. It, it makes it a faster ski. A mm -hmm. faster ski. You get better glide. It's just more fun. <laughs> it is more fun. Yeah. Get a little bit more speed. Now next in line. Um, that is our uh, most popular ski that Fisher produces. It's called the Orbiter. Nice. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has so the scales. Yeah. The scales underneath, and uh, that's that still has to be waxed here and here. But if you're the rec skier that just wants to go out real quick, grab your grab your skis slap a glide wax on, this is probably a good choice for you. This is the easy way to get out there. You don't um, need to know the temperature. Exactly. The snow conditions. Um, but the nice thing, even Jackson, they do it in the report every day. So if you do like to wax your skis and know what the conditions are, they do some recommendations. Absolutely. Um, we had a, um, a fellow last year that uh, was a member of the uh, U.S. development team a few years back, and he said, uh, he was always skiing these skis, and I asked, why would you do that when you're a great skier? You could go out and have a waxable ski right. and, and really enjoy it. And he said, Jack, I'm a skier, not a waxer. <laughs> and that good was point. a good point. <laughs> he just wanted to get out there and right. have some fun. And I think a lot of people feel the same unless you're doing like a little higher end and you want that nice performance. You can step it on up. Absolutely. Now, shall we move on to the boots because you have a couple beauties there? Yep. And again, the taller one is the skate boot. Okay. This one would be the classic boot. The classic boot, and this is the highest end of our classic boots, is really ah, not much more. Almost looks like a bike shoe. Yeah, it's it's not much more than a running shoe with a gaiter on it. Mm. It's super lightweight. Um, this one has uh, carbon fiber in the sole, nice. carbon Stylish. fiber heel. Um, when you get to the skate, you're looking for a little bit more stability. Because mm -hmm. um, you're so on your side pushing Exactly. Outward. So this one is very stiff. You've got a carbon fiber cuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the forefoot uh, is controlled 
with this strap. Um, again, it's all about the materials. A lot of carbon fiber, real lightweight, stiff boot. Awesome. Now, Jack, they can find all this stuff right in the shop up in Jackson. Yes. And you are doing a demo day today yes. um, where you can try before you buy. And again, you just need a license, a trail pass. That's it. And a credit card. Yeah, just leave that with you guys. Something. Jack, that's awesome. 10 to 2 today. 10 to 2. And what are your usual hours of operation? 9 to 5 every day. Every day you're in there. Well, Jack, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate all the information, some beautiful stuff. That, oh, one question before I let you go. Pole length, why? Pole length, how do you determine what you're, where it's going to be? Okay. We really recommend for, uh, and, and by the way, the poles are the same, whether it's classic okay. or skate. No special we, baskets or anything? No. Okay. What we recommend is uh, from when you're standing up, the um, classic pole should be from the armpit to the top okay. of the shoulder, somewhere in there. Usually a beginner skier will be a little shorter, yeah. a racer perhaps a little taller. Okay. For skate, a little bit taller pole. So standing it should be between the